Hi, I'm James with Territorial Seed Company. I'm going to talk to you a little bit here about what we've been doing the last few weeks processing dry seed through our belt thresher. All right, this is the kale crop from this season. It's cut out approximately 70% dry and then allowed to finish out on the tarps. That allows us to minimize shatter and loss. Here's peas after they've finished drying out for, say, it was about five days. We pulled them a little greener due to weeds tangled up around them to prevent extra seed shatter in the field. Um, as you can see, it's extracting the seeds, and I'm trying to move debris and get the seeds down to the screen if they're not going there on their own. Um, this machine processes anything from the size of turnip all the way up to Aprovecio fava, which is roughly the size of a quarter. So we go from anything the size of a, a pinhead to a quarter, which is a nice wide range. Um, this is Aprovecio fava right here being processed. It's being broken half due to the size of it. It's almost six feet tall, so it sticks out both ends of the thresher if it's not trimmed down. There's where the product is actually running in between the two belts, and that is threshing it and then it's gonna push it out to the far end where I'm at, at the screen end, and it's going to separate the seed from the chaff here. Uh, the large debris rolls over the top of the screen and the seed drops into the bottom and the small light debris is then extracted with a fan separator. Right below the screen deck here is a fan that spins the entire time. That's how the seed gets a preliminary cleaning, I guess you could call it. We don't end up with too much chaff in our seed before we run it through our real seed cleaner. And from here, the seed goes into cold storage for about a month. Then we begin the cleaning process.